So what is more important, guys, is to balance these two. And the, the wisdom I'm giving you is when you cannot literally hear the voice of God through the spirit of revelation, switch to the spirit of wisdom. He is still speaking even on the other side. He departed, David. Life saved. He could have died. He could have been captured. And there are many times where David lived out of the spirit of wisdom. There are times where they were reconciled with Saul, go back to Saul. When he, when he was with Saul, the Bible said that David thought in his heart, one day Saul will kill me. Mm. And he left. Are you with me? Amen. So, there is also a benefit of mastering the voice of the spirit of wisdom. But the key to that is when the spirit of revelation is not speaking, switch to the spirit of, of wisdom. When you cannot literally uh, 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 dream a word, when you cannot literally dream a message, when you cannot literally, you know, there are times where God will give me a clear word, clear, 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 I clearly hear a word. No need for me to rely on the spirit of wisdom. No need to rely on the spirit of rever- I mean, of wisdom. I have a clear word when I'm going to a particular setting. When I'm going to a particular setting, I already know that this is the word. But there are times where even if I try to pray all sorts of right prayers and all of that, I could not get it. Praise the Lord. The same God who gave the spirit of revelation is the same God who will give, who also gave the spirit of wisdom. The two must be balanced. Amen. So you need to know, number one, the audience. Very, very important. Because when you check the audience, the audience will also tell you what is needed here. You can't go to a funeral and speak like you're speaking in a wedding. Praise God. Amen. And also understanding dynamics of the region. When you are in a white community, the presentation is different. When you are in a black community, the presentation is different. There are times where in I, 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 I you know, in, and, and this also comes with, because wisdom also comes by experience. There are times where in I go to hard regions. You cannot go there in those hard regions and you want to play deep. You can't. There are regions where you cannot play deep at all, at all, at all. You've got to be shallow. Paul says that to the weak, I become weak. To the strong, I become strong. You can't become strong when you're talking to the weak. You've got to act weak. You've got to be weak and talk the language of the weak. Wisdom. So that is very important because once you have the wisdom of handling the word of God, you will break through in any region. You will break through in any region. Don't, you know, I don't want you to become specialized. I, say, I specialize with young people. I specialize with elderly <laughs> people. I specialize with township people. You know, because there are times where in, you know, the, the problem with that is we will put you in a place where you will be and you will, you will, you will, you will not function. You will not what? function at all because you you lack wisdom so master the tactic of wisdom master you'll handle the word of god correctly master master wisdom when you have mastered wisdom you'll find it easy to break through in any territory to break through in any audience are, are you with me master these things and you you know and when you when you see the kind of things i do sometimes here at ptc i don't do them anywhere sometimes you will think it's a different me altogether when i'm in a different circle i completely change when i'm with you here i play a different i bring a different dimension when i'm when i'm in certain atmospheres i completely change and the way God has built us, we've got to be adaptive. Wisdom will allow you to adapt in any environment and present in any environment. Teach to the Greeks. Paul, Paul will find a way of teaching to Greeks. 
He'll find a way. He will find a way. So, you are not going to present to only Pentecostals. You are going to present to people who are, you know, who are, who are, who are, who are not so spiritual. They just know Jesus, and that's all. And you can't play deep. What you think is 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 not deep to them is very deep. You'll go into a region and open up, you know, high voltage, and find that they are not. Uh, yeah. Responding to to this high voltage you're bringing immediately when you see that switch, praise the Lord. Amen. Switch. There are ta- there are places that I go to in wisdom. There are places that I go to and I try to teach. And I try to teach. I try to teach, and I'm finding that oh yeah, they want exhortation. I switch. Open high voltage. <laughs> Then you'll, you'll see, okay, this is the flow. This is the flow. Because they want exhortation here. They don't want teaching. You go to another place, and God does not tell you these things. You go to another place, you find that here they don't want noise. Now, that, that dynamic is also added so that when you reach a certain territory where the presentation must have no noise, You've got to move in in, 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 in in the spirit of teaching. And then you go to other regions that are that are tough. Tough in a sense that the fathers in that area has not done much work. The region now is tough, is difficult, and you are running on a high speed. You've got to slow down. Because what you might think is very foundational, I mean very basic, they, they don't even know that. You got you. You've got to present it in a way that you are not in a hurry. So know your audience. When you study the audience, the audience will tell. And that is why it's important for you to arrive ethics now. It is important for you to arrive in time in a meeting so that you study the audience. You study the audience, and during the worship moment, you'll be picking. You'll be picking the, the, the dynamics of the meeting. You'll be picking. You'll be getting the direction. And sometimes it is also important that even when you're not presenting that particular day, if you have a chance of attending, do attend so that you can get a clear direction of the meeting. Because you can pray the whole week and say, I'm not going to a meeting, I'm praying, and be missing the direction of a meeting. You come into a meeting and find that you're going that side. But thank God for the prophetic that even though you might have not been there for the whole week, through the spirit of revelation, you are able to connect. In that your, your, your teachings are not far from what others have been sharing the whole week. But there are times wherein you will come and find that you are the only one going this way. Everybody else is going this way. Spirit of wisdom. So have this dynamics. Have the dynamic of clearly hearing. Have the dynamic of operating by wisdom. Balance these two. Balance these two. Balance these two. It, it applies to every area. You know, there are times where a, a, a course service does not need a chorus. You can't come and <laughs> you want. The, it doesn't need that. And it's not God saying do a chorus. You understand? It's not God saying do uh, this kind of a song. But with the spirit of wisdom, you are able to study the flow and plug into the flow. Somebody say wisdom. So they they, they weren't handling the word of God and the one dishing out the word of God or the one dishing out the word of God must have the spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. Somebody say wisdom. Very, 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 very important. Wisdom. Now, so it is key to take note of the audience, both naturally and spiritually. Study your audience. Study your audience. Study your audience. Even when you are there, study the audience. What kind of audience is this? Is it is it professors? You know, there's somebody who was talking to me, say they want to bring me in in an audience where it will be a village with all the churches in the village gathered together. And they want me to address that particular day. There you've got my post dinner. Mm. There you've got Lutheran Church, you've got ZCC, you've got Arts Charismatics, you've got, you've got, it's a mixture. Eh? It's a mixture that day. It's a chakalaka that day. <laughs> now, 
when when you are when you are in a, in a setup like that because you've got to be very you've got to have wisdom and you can't come in and just shoot you understand spirit of wisdom you've got to have it 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 now you've got to number two know who you are whom are you speaking to who are you speaking to the person the audience will determine the style and its dynamic the audience will determine the style and its dynamic the setting is it a wedding i know people who are evangelical go to a wedding and evangelize in a wedding know the setting guys the setting and the time yeah we're preaching salvation guys it's a wedding <laughs> if you're here you want to receive jesus christ as your personal savior <laughs> it's a wedding. <laughs> and the cake. It's a wedding. And there are there are those of you in a wedding, in a cake, people are talking in tongues, people are falling under the power of God. Guys, it's a wedding. Time and timing. People are vibrating there and it's a wedding. Take it easy, it's a wedding. The audience will determine the style and its dynamic. <laughs> Can you open fire there? The you cannot. <laughs> and I find I find it very easy. You know, you know, you know, and the wisdom that that will help you when you master the dynamic of wisdom is that in a setting like that, you don't even have to prolong. Mm. I've been to weddings where I preach ten minutes in a wedding. People, people are still, you know, and because if you prolong, people are not listening to you. Mm. They are not listening to you anymore. You've got to keep it short and sweet. Mm. Short and sweet. Make a point and sit down. Mm. Wisdom. Now, the, the, the audience will determine the style and its dynamic. Whether you can open certain, di- don't say no. The Bible says that the spirit of prophets is subject to prophets. Amen. Have rule over your spirit. Praise God. Don't miss that wisdom. Study a particular because can you imagine people are mourning the death of someone, and you're saying, oh, Holy Ghost. First time you're not shouting. Second time. <laughs> Holy Ghost, lift it higher. They're doing the right thing in the wrong place. Are, are you with me? And, and 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 this is the problem. So number three, the wisdom of rightly handling the word of God. Number three, you've got to contextualize the word to the audience and its level. Con- contextualize the word to the audience and its level. Contextualize the words. You are worried about the word contextualize, I know. <laughs> contextualize the word and its level. In other words, you customize the word according to the audience without losing the quality of the word and anointing without losing interpretation by customizing i'm talking about building it to the specifications build the word or come with the word that is so accurate to the audience let the word talk to a mama with a broken heart let a word talk to a young person who is just graduating their PhD in the same in the same service. Let the word talk to a young person looking for work. Let the word talk to a deep prophetic person in the service. Because your audience is mixed. Everybody must live and feel that God has spoken to me. It is your responsibility. And usually Sundays are like that because Sundays are combined with people with different issues. And the wisdom of handling a Sunday is not the wisdom of handling a prophetic service. 
when you are handling a ppk conference you cannot handle it like you are handling a sunday service and address sunday politics in a different stage altogether at that particular level you are addressing apostolic matters on an international level no gimmicks no politics of a local church at that level i mean hmm. are you following what i'm saying you cannot address at that level and address squabbles of a local church at that level you cannot and even your examples at that level must not be at the level of a local church you cannot address the issues of Omakalwan at that level. You will live well with your neighbor. In a, in a prophetic conference of that stage, of that magnitude, you cannot. That's why I, I always say that even your examples, they can be village examples at that level. At that level, you cannot address, because you, you, are, you, are, you are dealing now there with nations at that level. The issues you are addressing there are, a very serious, are on a very serious nature. So you can't come and address, you know, the issues of young people there at that level. The leader who is leading a particular house will also determine your style. Because when you come into a house led, for example, by a ray, you cannot come into an, like you are coming into a church that is led by somebody else. Mm. The pulpit you are standing on, mm. the person who stands behind it, mm. is also going to put you under pressure. Mm. So you can't come in there and play. When the resident grace does not play, come on, come on, come on. Because the way the, 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 the tribe has been built, we do not make a lot of jokes, man. There are not jokes that we make, and you know, and all kinds of things. We 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 deal with uh, you know uh, things on a different level. Now, the danger of that is this, guys, that when you cannot contextualize the word to the audience, you are going to miss them. Customize the word to the audience. Who are you addressing? Is it June 16? Is it August? Customize it. Customize it. Is it ladies' conference? Customize it. Right? Build it to specification. And one of the ways you're going to build it with specification is through the prophetic anointing. Because the prophetic anointing will also give you an insight in terms of the, 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 the particular spiritual issues in the atmosphere. You'll pick spiritually that here, this is what I'm dealing with. You cannot go into an area that is ravaged with poverty and address them like you're addressing the rich. That does not appeal to them. <laughs> are, you, are you with me? That doesn't appeal to them. It's a very good message in the city. In, you know, they does not appeal to them. They are already broke. Are you with me? The, the prophetic also kicks in now, going back to those two spirits. The prophetic, the spirit of revelation will reveal to you the issues in the audience. The danger of missing the prophetic and over rely on wisdom is that you will try to literally read with wisdom and not pick anything. But with the prophetic spirit, you are going to scan. You've got to learn the issue of scanning the service. You scan the service. You scan the service. You get into the service and scan. You get into the atmosphere. When I get into the atmosphere, I don't just get in there and chill and wait for me to be called. I scan and pick things that I need to pick. When I get into the territory, I need to get into the territory and pick territorially. What are the things I must deal with here territorially? What is my assignment? Because my assignment when I come to, for example, my assignment when I come to Pulukwan is not the assignment that I will have when I go to Weed Bank. Amen. The assignments are different. So when I get into that area, I'm, 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 I'm having the word of God and the word of God lives in me. I'm sitting there with the spirit of revelation. I'm scanning through the service. I'm scanning. I'm scanning the environment and I'll pick. This is the way. Follow it. So you see now, the advantages of the prophetic spirit is that it applies to any, even if you... Just give me the microphone at any time. And the, the good thing about it, when you've got a sharp prophetic spirit, there are times that will just call you and give you the, 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 the microphone and keep quiet. You have to, within seconds, you should have already scanned the service. Scanned the people. Scanned the atmosphere. Praise the Lord. Amen. And address in one minute. So you've got to have a very sharp spirit. Praise God. Amen. That is work. It is it's, it's, it's real work. That is hard work. You get in the area you're scanning. 
you get in the territory of Kenya, you know, you are already aware of the kind of things. You know, there is the beast in Damascus. There is a beast in Ephesus. Uh, you know, what type of thing are we dealing with here? Do I have to fight or do I have to be in a peaceful mode? What is my... Do, do I have to... You can't be... It can't be declarations all the time. Do I have to impart knowledge here or do I have to be unlocking things for them? Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So that dynamic, and also, you know, experience will also help you in this type of things. So you must contextualize the word to the level of the audience without reducing its quality and ensuring that the interpretation remains correct and sound. Praise God. Amen. Contextualize the word to the level of the audience without reducing its quality and ensuring that the interpretation remains sound and correct. The interpretation must remain sound and correct. You are, you, are, you are not doing that to mess up your interpretation. The interpretation is still correct. Okay? Localize it. Localize the word. By localizing the word, I'm referring to with this group of people here, I can localize the word to the local church level. I can take the word, play it on an international level. I can take the word on the corporate level. I can, you can localize it. Bring it down to people. Bring it down to our level. Bring it down to our level. That is the element that lacks in many of you. Bring the word to the level of the people. Let this apostolic thing mean something to somebody of my level. Don't address us you are like addressing pastors all the time. Localize the word at the level of the people. Okay? Localize what? The word at the level of the people. It must, however, not lose its apostolic content. It must not lose its quality. It must not lose its elements. It is still saying what you are saying, but it's localized. It's customized. Build it according to, release it according to the dynamics of the audience. Okay? Speak it at the level. Does the word you are releasing mean or say anything to the level and the context that I'm in? Can I relate with it? Does it mean anything to me? That's why some, some of us will feel it was a waste of time because it never spoke to me. The prophetic helps you with that. The spirit of wisdom helps you with that. You must also simplify it. Okay? The word customize means Modify something to suit a particular individual or task. That's the element that I need to, 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 we're left with 12 minutes. The word customize means modify the word to suit a particular individual or task. The setting is very important. Then you customize your word around that setting. When you're going, when you're in a tent, when you are in a tent, customize it to the tent. When you are in a Sunday morning service, customize it to the Sunday morning. Okay. So in other words, your word must be packaged in a manner that it remains the word of quality but package to the level of the people you are addressing. And it must be appealing to that level. It must talk to that level. It must address that level. Then you are mastering the art. It's an art you must master. It's an art you must master. That is now when we have, when we have spoken a lot more about uh, we've spoken a lot about the, the, the interpretation, we've spoken about the context, we've spoken about different principles and things that you, you, know, you deal with when you're handling the word of God, eisegesis, exegesis, hermeneutics, you know, text without uh, whatever, whatever is proof text. In, we, have, we, we have all of that. Now, here it is in a practical sense. 
when I walk into an environment, how do I conduct myself as the person handling the word of God in an environment? How do I conduct myself as a vessel delivering the word of God? And also, we must also teach the audience how do they conduct themselves when a word is being released in a practical manner. Because when you also have the audience that is not educated in terms of, uh, you know, uh, 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 that is not uh, taught how to conduct themselves, they might push the problem back to you that the word is not talking to them but only to discover that they are the problem. Mm. <coughs> Praise God. So that is why I said when I started that there are two parts into this. There is the speaking part, there is the receiving part. There are behaviors expected on the receiving part. <coughs> there are behaviors expected on the giving part. Who, the person who is giving it must learn some of these issues. And the person receiving it, there are things that they must learn as well. Are you with me? Some say wisdom. wisdom. Very, very important and very, very critical. So your word must be packaged in a manner that it, it comes to the level of the people. <coughs> it must talk to people. It must be simplified. You can still be very much deep and still be very simple. Mm. You can still be very much deep and still be very simple. Mm. Master the wisdom of simplifying what you're saying. The, 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 the test of every apostolic content is tested based on how it can simplify things for everybody. Jesus takes the bread and when he takes the bread, he breaks the bread. But think of the audience that Jesus was breaking the bread for. There was a five-year-old child. There was a 10-year-old. There was a 37-year-old. There was a 65-year-old. Different ages. The, the kind of bread a 65 can chew and the kind of bread a 37 can chew and the kind of bread a 9-year-old can chew is still the same bread, same taste, but different parts. Learn from that miracle. He takes the bread and he breaks the bread. Now, the person who is saving, listen to me as I finish, the person who is saving the bread is not going to save the whole loaf. The bread is going to be broken according to the ability of the eater. So, when you are saving out bread, bread must be broken according to the, to the capacity of the eater. Some people cannot handle some of our heavy stuff but they can handle if it has been sliced piece by piece they can handle it look at john chapter 2 in john chapter 2 there is a wedding in Cana. water is changed into one we all we all know that but do you know that the people were drinking wine they were not drinking with the pot they were drinking according to the capacity they can the cup there was a, there were cups they were using to drink. So in other words, the same wine from the port has been customized to the level of the drinker. Mm. If you are a drinker and you can drink with this liter, it's fine. But if you can drink at this capacity, it's still fine. You are all drinking the same wine. Mm. But it has been customized to your capacity. We mess it up when we want to serve everybody on the same capacity. Are you with me? How much can they handle? How do you know? Wisdom and revelation. When you are addressing a particular person with the spirit of wisdom, you already need to pick their level of spirituality. If there is a demand to pick their level of maturity. Mm. Immediately. You've got to have a trained spirit in that when you look at a person, you can pick immediately where this person is, what is their, you understand? Mm. The, what is the level they're operating in? You've got to pick immediately. That does not come by wisdom that comes by the spirit of revelation because when Saul look at when 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 Samuel look at Saul God spoke mm. 
And God said, this is the man I spoke to you about yesterday, that tomorrow at this time, I will send you a man who is going to be king over my people. This is the man. When Saul met uh, uh, Samuel, God has already spoken with Samuel a day before about him. When he came, God said, this is the man. And the danger of not balancing the spirit of wisdom and spirit of revelation shows up when Samuel is going to anoint the king to take over from Saul. He gets into the house of Jesus, look at the outward appearance of the sons of, of Jesus and say, this is the man. And the man he was looking at, Eliab, he, he was of the same stature like Saul. Yeah. He was tall, he was, he was exactly like Saul. So he was using the experience, previous experience, wisdom. But God says, no, 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 here I have to speak. Hmm. So both dynamics work, but you need to know when do one work. Well, when Moses married Zipporah, it was not God who came and said, Moses, your wife is Zipporah. Are you aware? Hmm. It was not God. Did God come and say, you prayer people who pray? It was not God who came and said, your wife is Zipporah. It is Moses who met a lady and realized I can live with this lady and take her. Oh, did I mess up your theology? <laughs> did, I, did I mess up your theology? Show me. Did God say your wife is Zipporah? God never come to Moses and say your wife. Moses, out of the spirit of wisdom, realized that this is the person I can live with. I can actually cope with this kind of problem. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the Lord. Now, so, what is more critical and more important is the two voices must be obeyed and believed with. Are you with me? Same in handling the word. You've got to live out of these two streams. This is what is more practical, but also have um, um, a sharpened spirit. You can't come in a, in a territory and be blank and claim you're your prophetic. When you enter into a territory, you cannot be blank and pick nothing and hear nothing. In fact, in some territories, when you enter, spirits of the territory will already be greeting you. You, Jesus, Son of God, have you come to torment us before time? He has not even stayed in Gadarin, but the man who was carrying a demonic spirit in Gadarin was sitting at the edge. He was sitting at the edge, at the entry point of Gadarin, and the man was greeting him. Before he even confronted the devils of the territory, the man who was carrying a territorial spirit territorial spirits were greeting him so in some regions when you enter your first night when you land in that city you people who want to go to nations let's tell you things we have never told tell tell you when you land in that nation the witches of that nation already they're greeting you i'm not trying to threaten anybody <laughs> i'm trying to show you true dynamics what happens when we're in the nations it's not just the excitement of going to the nations. It's, it's, it's real thing that happened. If you enter into that territory, and this is, a, you know, sexually immoral territory, that particular moment you'll pick it already. These are dynamics you meet. If, if there's pride, if there's gossip, you know, whatever prince is operating there will greet you. Jesus arrives in Gadarin. The men in Gadarin greeted him. The men possess of devils. So the prince, when you arrive into a territory, who told the king of, of Jericho that there are two spies who came here? The, the, when they arrive, when they arrive at the house of, of not Zippor, Rahab, the king was told that there are two spies that came and he sent people there. Bring that dynamic now into the spirit. When you arrive in the territory, there are familiar spirits that are guarding and watching territories. These are demons that do not aim at hating anybody, but these are collectors of information who collect the information and push it back to the demonic masters. It's real. These are the things we experience. Immediately when you arrive, they are already knowing and aware that you are there. 
Have you come to deal with us before our time? Talking to Jesus. They are already aware that you are there. Who told them? Familiar spirits. I must teach you about familiar spirits. Familiar spirits are demonic spirits that are gatherers of information. They gather the information and send it back to a demonic database. And then the demonic prince issue out an instruction of what must be done. Send people to the house of Rahab and say that there are two spies that came here. Bring them out. Who told the people in Sodom that there are two angels that came in that house, the house of Lord that night? There are two men who arrive here. Bring them out. Understand how the spiritual world functions when you are going to handle the word of God. When you enter a territory, these are the things that happen. They are monitors, they are monitoring. Because remember some of the demonic spirits have been sitting in that territory for the last 200 years. They have been ruling and governing it. So when you come to displace them, they, are, they know who is coming for them. They are aware. Praise the Lord. Amen. So these are dynamics. So when you handle the word, things like this will happen. You enter a territory, they are waiting for you. But don't be afraid. Praise God. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. In some cities you enter, you sleep peacefully. In some cities you enter, you have to have an all-night prayer that night. <laughs> Praise God. And also be aware that, uh, you know, nowadays with the issues of Facebook and all of these, this checking in and checking out, uh, these kind of things must see also have its own dynamic. <laughs> it has its own dynamic. There is added warfare that comes. I've seen it many times. There is added warfare that comes because you have checked in into a certain territory. There is an added warfare that comes. Your mission will be destabilized because you checked in. It's better to check in when you're done. <laughs> yeah, when you're checking out, check in, you're out. Yeah. Because you've, you, you've got to understand that there is, a, there is a dynamic of warfare that is added to that. You are going to battle things you have never battled in that city. The prophetic. Be sensitive. Somebody said, be sensitive. Be sensitive. Be sensitive. I will teach you one day about a, sens a sensitized spirit. Mm -hmm. You've got to have a sensitized spirit. Your spirit must be sensitive. Sensitive, sensitive, sensitive. You enter into an area, you are sensitive. You are not reckless. Some area you enter, it's okay. You can check in, you can do all the things you want to do. You can post on Facebook. You can, you can do all of that. In some areas, you've got to be sensitive. And you must also master the issue, you people, apostolic people, you must master the issue of preaching with an interpreter. You must master it. Don't say, me, you know, I come from an apostolic setup, we flow. My friend, you have to master the tactic of dealing with an interpreter. You have to master that tactic. These are different things I must, we must give you when you go to nations. Master the tactic of talking with an interpreter. And remember also, we must remember, we will never have the same growth, all of us, in maturity across the board, across the body of Christ in the same manner. What you might have graduated long ago from somebody still has to come into it. So when you have that, that dynamic of sensing and picking, you will quickly pick and say, they have not come to this point. So let me deal with this point. Any question? We are done.